I'm about to show you how to make the most epic meatball sub sandwich on your smoker. Let's go. Hey guys, it is dinner time here at Texas Brew and Barbecue. Sun's going down, it's probably gonna be nighttime by the time we wrap this up, but we are making some smoked meatball subs on the Rectech RT700. Telling you, there's nothing you can't cook on a Rectech. You could, you could cook anything on a Rectech. Anything, meatball subs, for instance. So we have all of our ingredients here. They are right there on your screen. Take a screenshot so you have your shopping list and all the measurements are there. And we're gonna dive right into this. These meatball subs take approximately 40 minutes, from 40, 45 minutes from start to finish. We have the RT700, I have it right now preheating. And it's preheated, it's locked in at 325. So let's get going. First thing that we're gonna do, you're gonna get a separate bowl, grab you one egg, and you are going to Put the egg in the bowl. There, all done, just kidding. All right, egg goes in the bowl. Whisk it, whisk it real good. Like those jokes. So we got our egg in there. Now we're gonna take the one word I love to say the most. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. All right, two tablespoons of that. A little bit more, there you go. Okay, we're gonna whisk all this together. We're gonna take our milk. We're gonna put that in there. We are gonna take our rub. I am using Ron Screaming Pig Rub for meatballs. I figured pig and meatballs just for some reason sounded really good together. Now that's not why. This rub is really good. Go to rectech.com and get the rub bundle. This is a great rub. It goes on anything. One of my favorites actually. Some rub in there. Now we have our breadcrumbs and we are gonna put that in there. So you wanna stir all your breadcrumbs and all your wet ingredients together and it's gonna give you this big bowl of mush. But what we are gonna do is we are gonna let the milk or the breadcrumbs soak up the milk and the egg and all of the ingredients and let it sit there and soak all up. So we're gonna set that to the side. Now we're gonna gra grab our ground beef, pound and a half, put it in a bowl. Salt and pepper, half a teaspoon of each. In the bowl, we're gonna take our minced onion. Guess where that goes? You guessed it, in the bowl. Now we're gonna take our garlic. You want two cloves of minced garlic. It's usually two teaspoons. Boom. Now we're gonna mix all this stuff together. Start getting its mix on. You see our mixture starting to thicken up? You want it to get to this thicker consistency. This is gonna help form our balls. Our meat balls. All right, put it all in the bowl. If I'm going too fast for you, just hit pause. And then come back. All right, there we go. That looks disgusting, but it's not gonna be disgusting. It's gonna be pretty fabulous. Fabulous, I'm gonna bring that word back. Probably never gonna say that again. I don't know why I said that. I think Christy had it on Real Housewives or something and I just subconsciously picked up the word fabulous. All right, I'm gonna show you how to make one meatball and then uh, I'll make the rest of them and we'll get them on the smoker. So you wanna make sure that all of the breadcrumbs are mixed in with the meat really well. Now we got this big meatball. 
All right. So you want them golf ball size. Now you're going to do is make a meatball. All right, maybe I should redo that. All you're going to do is make a meatball. <laughs> All right, so there's one. Now we're going to make the rest of them. I'm probably going to make one, two. How many do you want, Braden? Two sandwiches? Four sandwiches? I got to make a lot of meatballs. All right, so I'm going to continue to make these, and then we'll show you when we get them on the smoker. All right, so I got the meatballs on there. I have a skillet in here that I brought to temp and I preheated it with the smoker. So what I'm gonna do with the skillet is I'm going to take our marinara sauce. This is from Mazetta. Mazetta was very, very kind and sent me a couple jars of their marinara sauce. This is one of my favorites. Kroger carries it and I love it a lot. So the meatballs are gonna be cooking for about 35 minutes until they're an internal temperature of 160. You wanna make sure you hit that 160 on those meatballs. So we're gonna take our marinara sauce and I'm gonna put this in the skillet and let it just sit there and simmer. So this is gonna simmer in the skillet while our meatballs are cooking. What we're gonna do after the meatballs come to temp, we're gonna take them and we're gonna put them in that marinara sauce and we're gonna put some marinara sauce on them and we're gonna let them sit in that skillet and simmer for about five to 10 minutes. Then we're gonna put them in our hoagie rolls, and put them back on the smoker with the provolone cheese. Oh, they're so good. So we'll see you guys in about 35 minutes. All right, these meatballs have hit temp and we are gonna take them and put them right over here in our marinara sauce that we've had simmering. They're a little warm. I'd probably use tongs, but I forgot to bring some out. So we're going to put these guys in here. We're going to let them soak up some of that marinara sauce. And that's gonna give us time to get our, uh, our bread ready, our hoagie rolls. This smells so good. All right, so we're gonna let these guys sit in there for like two minutes, two minutes. So we have our sub rolls get them from the store. We got a provolone cheese. So what we are going to do is why those guys are taking that uh, beautiful marinara bath. This is the way I've done them. I don't do anything fancy with the bread. I don't twirl it up in foil. I know people say put foil on it, whatever. I don't. So we're going to make one and I'm going to show you exactly what we're going to do. So I'm just gonna take a couple of these guys, put them right here in the bread. Boom, boom. Might be able to fit one more guy in there. We're out of bread everywhere. We can't get the big French bread. All right, we got three in there. And I'm just gonna line these guys up on the baking sheet and then put them back in there until the cheese melts. All right, so we're gonna take our provolone cheese. I just put it on top like that. Nothing fancy. Boom. So all I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna take these and put them right back on the rag tech until that cheese melts. So it's gonna take a few minutes for that cheese to melt. I want, I, I put a lot of provolone on there. I want that cheese to like just, I want that, I want to eat it with a fork and knife. I want that kind of meatball sub. So once that cheese is melted, we're gonna take these things out 
We're gonna let them cool off, and we are gonna have a meat, a meat boil at dinner. No, I shouldn't do that, right? All right, we'll do it again. All right, me, there, me, there. Let's see what we got. Cheese has been melting, and oh, man. Tell me you can't cook meatball subs on a Rectech RT700, son? Let's garnish this a little bit. Get some dried parsley. Okay, let's see this tight. Look at this. It's gonna snow parsley. Oh man. That is a meatball sub on your smoker. I did everything right there on the smoker. The bread toasted. There we go. It's gonna get messy. Good baby Jesus in a tuxedo t-shirt. That's good. We'll see you guys in the next video. Y'all hungry?